You know, I, I really think the answer is not clear, and the reason is that, uh, from what I understand, the U.S. government has previously said that it would give Iraq special consideration about the issue of sanctions against its neighbor, Iran. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean waivers, as we call them. It doesn't mean that we will simply say, okay, no problem. But I think it does mean that we will not be too quick to try and impose secondary sanctions or other penalties against Iraq. I think this will be an issue to be discussed between the U.S. officials and the Iraqi officials in charge of this issue. Yeah, well, again, uh, I have to say the answer is, to me at least, very unclear. I think it's, it's very close. It could go either way. If I had to guess, I would guess that because it is so close, the most likely outcome will be an attempt to form a broad coalition that includes many different parties, even parties that disagree with each other. And we're at a situation now where every major bloc in Iraqi politics is divided, even internally, the Shiites, the Kurds, the Sunnis. And so I think it, many of them probably will be willing to accept a kind of compromise in which nobody wins and nobody loses. Almost everybody is included in a government. And that probably is going to take a lot more time and probably going to mean, again, I'm guessing, a government that doesn't have a very clear policy. But maybe that's the best that we can hope for in Iraq today. Well, uh, as I just said, the Kurds are internally divided. Uh, very much so, and they, it doesn't seem to me that they are able or that they will be able to patch up these internal Kurdish differences to make them a major player in the way that they used to be. Um, so I think that the most important thing that uh, I, as an American that I would hope for from the Kurds is that they try to keep Iraq as much as possible friendly to the United States and not totally under Iranian influence because that's in their interest as Kurds as well as Iraqi citizens.